It's Joshua Gar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And you already know what it is. This is your drop test for the LG G Flex. It does have a curve to it, which somewhat protects the screen, but also we have a self healing back here. So we're going to see what happens to this phone if it'll stand up to our drop test a little bit better than ones we've done before. You already know how it goes. We're going to drop the LG G Flex on its back, onto its bottom, onto its front, which, because of that curve, might be a little bit more protected than most. And before we even get started, here's the LG G Flex in the before shot. You're just seeing how this is a fully operational phone before I even get started with this drop test. All right, and here we go. We're going to drop the LG G Flex right onto its back. So let's see what happens. In three, two, one. And for the most part, if there were any scratches that were on this uh, healing back, it must have gone away already. But the ones that dig a little, that dug a little bit deeper, are definitely showing there. And I'm not too sure if those are going to come off. However, we will give it a little bit of time and see if that will be the case. Got a nice nimble grip on there. All the cameras should be rolling right now, and we're going in three. Two, one. The phone bounced when it fell onto its bottom and I didn't know what to expect when I picked it up. However, as you can see here, there was a crack on the bottom. There was enough impact to create a fissure right here and we have a small number of very long cracks that go all the way to other sides of the phone, even reaching the top right corner in one case. So unfortunately, we do have a cracked screen already after the second test, which was dropping it on its bottom. The phone does still work, however. After all, we're going to be down here, and it looks like even in that little crack, the menu button still works about as well as it should. Here we go. We'll see how the curve right here makes the screen maybe hopefully a little bit protected, but obviously we already proved that wrong by cracking it here. But here we go with the final test. Making sure all my cameras are good. Getting a nice <clears throat> angle right here. And here we go. In three, two, one. Nice square hit there. Uh, we did already provide some damage using the bottom test that came down over here. Oh, I did the knock-knock and it still worked. That's a good sign. And then, of course, we had the top left cracking as well. And I suppose when the cracks met in the middle, it created a bit of a fissure right over there. So, as I did the knock-knock, it came up. It looks like the phone is still operational. Menu button still works down here. Let's see if I can bring down the notification drop-down from the top left. Yes, that seems to be the case. I do feel, I think I got nicked by a piece of glass, so I'm probably going to have to put a band-aid on later. Anyway, that is the danger you have with a cracked screen, so that is the end of our drop test right there. And so there you have it for this drop test on the LG G Flex. Despite the positivity that I had going into this, that the screen would be protected due to the curve that is somewhat protecting it. Uh, unfortunately, you are still able to get impact on the very corners and sides of the screen, and that is enough to create a shatter, uh, something that is pretty much expected. However, I had some positivity coming into this. Um, I had some hopes for it, that is. So all in all, we do see, however, that the back of the LG G Flex is still pretty much intact. Um, I'm not too sure if the self-healing material has done its job, but I will say that there are some cracks on here that really dug into the material on the back, and those I'm pretty sure are not going to go away after a couple hours, which is what we're going to wait, is how long we're going to wait to see if those go away. With the phone still being operational, it is possible to still use this phone, which is a bit of a pass on the drop test. However, uh, like I kind of did, thankfully I'm not bleeding, I did get a little nicked by the uh, glass for the first time in these drop tests. So just remember that sort of danger that coming into a phone that has a cracked screen like this. 
So as always, thank you very much for watching this drop test of the LG G Flex. Uh, don't forget to drop us likes on our videos, to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and to share our videos with anybody you like on social media. And you can follow us on social media, including myself, if you want to follow me from time to time using the links that are below that subscribe button down below. Well, that's it for the LG G Flex, but that is not it for our coverage of it because we are Android Authority, your source for all things Android. Ouch, that hurt. So it's been something like two and a half hours after I've done the drop test on the LG G Flex. And I just wanted to show you real quick, you'll see a close up and maybe a picture too, because why not, of the scuffs that were originally there on the LG G Flex. Now I say originally there, not because they went away, but because, well, they look a little bit better now, I will say. And we waited for a while. I even did uh, a couple of things to try to facilitate the healing process on the back. Uh, however, those scuffs are always going to be there. I knew that that was going to be the case because it really dug into the material and it's kind of like polishing a crater. You can't really do anything when the crater is there. So that is uh, what we're working with here. That was your drop test for the LG G Flex and ostensibly your self-healing back test as well. So two birds, one stone, there you go. So keep it tuned to Android Authority. We're your source for all things Android. And stay tuned for more on the LG G Flex.